is going on, everybody? And welcome back again to another episode from Key Points. My name is Ahmed Mofta. In case you don't know me, I'm a technical training manager here at Cisco. And I'm here today to talk about artificial intelligence. Again? Oh, I thought you already talked about it. No, I haven't talked about it yet. I'm going to talk about it again and again and again because this is the future. This is the present. And uh, let me answer five very important questions about artificial intelligence that everyone is asking about. These questions are, is artificial intelligence really beneficial to my career or is it just another buzzword? Okay, well, I'm not talking here just about network engineers. I'm talking about everyone around the world. Is AI really beneficial to me or not? And if it's really beneficial, so how can I use it at my work to gain the maximum benefit out of it? And especially network engineers, what's in it for them? I mean, where is AI with the networking field? And if you decided to pursue that path, how can I learn it? Yes, how can I learn artificial intelligence? And the fifth and final question, which is a very uh, important one, will AI replace humans? Oh, let's find out. But before I answer any of those questions, let me start by defining AI. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is actually a science. It's the science of simulating human intelligence in machines, which is going to enable those machines to learn, reason, and make decisions. And don't be scared, because if machines can learn and reason and make decisions, you can make them work for you. Instead of being scared that they're going to be against you, they can play with you. How? Well, this can be beneficial in several aspects. Maybe your business, regardless what kind of business you have and what kind of uh, industry you have, you can let machines automate your job for you. Instead of having to repeat yourself over and over again, when you let machines learn and analyze what's going on with your, you know, with your business, it can give you predictive analysis. It can automate your job. It can do some kind of self-learning so that you can upscale your industry. Let's take networking as an example. Network engineers, where do we find artificial intelligence? I'm going to give you a very good example. We're not just talking about routers or switches. Let's take the Cisco Catalyst Center. Cisco Catalyst Center has this thing within its engine, which is called the NDP, Network Data Platform, where somehow artificial intelligence is there pre-embedded into the system that can collect information from the enterprise campus, from the networks, routers, switches, and all those different devices and end user devices to analyze the traffic flow so that it can give you you know, predictive analysis and it can give you trends of the traffic flow within your network. And if something deviates from the standard, it's going to give you a list of reasons for what has happened and why it has actually happened and a list of different solutions that you can implement. So if I want to start using AI right away, do I have to be a data scientist or a data analyst or network engineer? No, you don't. You can actually be anybody and you can start using AI right away. Oh, well, how? I mean, let's take AI chatbots, for example, chat GPT as an example. I'm not trying to promote for chat GPT here. I'm just trying to give you some definitions. These are considered AI chatbots. What are these? They're actually conversational AI systems designed to interact with humans through text and voice and and actually those chatbots they use something which is called LLM large language model which is a type of AI model trained on vast amounts of text data to generate human like responses and if you want to geek out further LLM is actually a subtype of uh, a larger AI system which is called Gen AI generative AI this is an AI system that creates text-based content based on input prompts. Okay, well, I'm not really concerned about all those technical details. Tell me how to, to, to start interacting with those different uh, AI applications. Just go to ChatGPT and start typing and start asking questions or start asking, you know, uh, you, uh, use your voice and, and just ask ChatGPT about, oh, how can I... Um, hmm, troubleshoot OSPF if uh, a couple of routers are not, uh, you know, establishing uh, OSPF neighborship for network engineers. They're going to understand what I mean. But hey, it's not just about 
network engineers, as I said, you can just ask those chatbots anything and you can get some answers. But wait a second, it's a two-edged knife. Because if you notice what I just said, the system needs to train itself. The AI models keep on improving and they keep on training themselves, which means just like human beings, you don't get to be accurate and precise from the first shot, although you could. It will give you some definite answers for sure, but you don't take those answers for granted. You have to verify the answers and further check those answers so that you don't make mistakes at your job. So this is going to give you better edge at your job because you're automating your tasks. You are being faster, better, and smarter, which is again, going to give you better opportunities. And this is going to benefit you instead of being afraid of artificial intelligence. Go ahead and start pursuing it. How? Learn it. Learn AI. Start getting trained. Train yourself on AI. And I've got some good news for you here today. The DC AIE. What's that? This is the name of the learning path that Cisco has created to give you lots of information about artificial intelligence, especially for network engineers. So what is that thing that you just mentioned, DC AIE? Yeah, this is the AI solutions on Cisco infrastructure essentials. Okay, what's so good about it? The good thing here is that starting February 7th, 2025, good news, awesome news, amazing news. This learning path is going to be for free, for free on Cisco U. If you log into u.cisco.com, it's totally free. Last couple of weeks, I just mentioned that the first two tracks of that learning path are free, and there are actually five paths. Now, I'm telling you that starting February 7th, the entire learning path is for free. Five tracks that can teach you AI from zero to hero, especially for network engineers to be very specific here, so you're not going to learn everything about AI. You're learning AI from the perspective of network engineers and how to benefit from that science in order for you to uh, use it within your network, specifically in the data center and the different kind of infrastructure that you need in order for your data center to be AI enabled and the kind of technologies and uh, techniques that you need to configure over, over there within your network. So the DCAIE is for free starting from February 7, 2025. This is a chance for everybody to gain not just the knowledge, but wait for it, 34 CE credits. Oh, what do you mean? I mean, once you finish your learning journey, <laughs> you get 34 learning credits that you can use towards renewing your Cisco certificates. Okay, uh, uh, go for it. Go for it. I'm just telling you. And this is going to be valid until March 24th. So you have plenty of time to finish studying AI using the DCAIE. And again, as I said, it's absolutely free. Go for it. Don't wait for anything. 34 learning credits. It's not just for the credit. It's for the sake of learning and knowledge. And by the way, I'm going to be teaching you that myself because I'm the one that created the videos for that training. So go ahead and just log in right away. And I'm going to wind up here by a final point and a final question. One of those five questions that I started with at the beginning. Do you still think that AI is a threat to humans and will it replace humans? Well, think about it and write at the comment section and tell me more what you think. Until then, keep watching, keep learning. I want to see you again in the next week and in the next episode. Bye.